<laughs> no, it's cold outside, and uh, you often make a mistake when you live in our parts of the world and you want to go out and walk across the frozen lake and the natural existing contingencies if you don't recognize when the, the ice is too thin. You fall your butt right in that ice cold water, and guess what? That is a naturally existing contingency. You didn't lean to learn nothing about it. Nobody had to set that up. It is genuinely natural. Um, here's another one. You get underwater, and you're scuba diving, and you know, all that stuff, and all of a sudden, your airline breaks. That's a naturally existing contingency. You should have checked your airlines. Um, so, um, and I don't mean American and Delta and all those folks. Um, so, and you should have really checked. You should have done all of your proper processes to avoid that naturally existing contingency of death. Um, luckily, the water was the, the surface was only 30 feet away when it happened to me, so I took a couple of good breaths underwater. That was it, because that's all I got. <laughs> I was ran out of air, and there's bubbles behind me, and I went all the way to the surface and kicked really flipping hard. And, for, and then remembered to drop my weight belt, and I went to the surface really fast. Um, but everything is okay, as you can see here. But those naturally existing contingencies are one that you don't have to set up in an, in an unnatural environment or with a behavior manager. They just exist out there in the real world.